Today we're going to learn how to build a model using R and the data that we have in our cybercrime spreadsheet. The kind of model I'm going to build is a generalized linear model. A response variable will be whether or not an individual in our database has been a victim of cybercrime. So that is this column right here. And you see the response variables are a yes, no, or a one, zero. I'm going to go to RStudio, open RStudio. It's going to think here for a minute and, and do its thing, so I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet. I'm going to copy all of this data. A quick way to do that is to hold down the control to shift key, go down arrow and right arrow, and then um, control C for copy. Go back to R. R is ready for me. I'm going to go to the file menu. In the file menu, I'm going to select new file and text file. Then I'm going to paste that data in here. It gave me one extra row, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to save this as a text file. And I'm going to choose the directory that I do my coursework in. And we're going to call it Cyber. Now I already have a file named Cyber. It's just the same file. As, and I'm just going to write over it. You probably will not have one. So it will not ask you, do you want to write over it? Now this is just only one of many ways that we can enter data into R. But it's really the most direct way from... Um, the spreadsheet without having to remember a lot of data import commands. I can go to Tools next and do Import Data Set from a text file. Find the file I just saved. Cyber. Open it. You get a preview of it. If, does it have a heading? Yes. That's my um, victim, credit card fraud, so forth. This is tab delimited. I can tell it is that it defaulted to tab, and you can see that uh, in the bottom window of the data frame um, that the data looks like it should look. If I were to do <coughs> white space, that space is between, it doesn't like that. It doesn't like comma. It doesn't like semicolon. And then I also know that since I brought it from a spreadsheet, not a .csv uh, file, that it's going to be tab delimited. So I'll go ahead and import this data. And I want to get a summary. I want to see what's in the data. So summary. We called this cyber. Enter, and it gives me the frequency distributions and so forth of all the uh, variables in the model. Another nice thing about doing the summary is when I get ready to, to um, build the model, I won't have to type these variables. I'll be able to just copy and paste, and fewer chance of uh, me having a fat finger or some other uh, typo. So I'm going to create a fit, a fitted model called Fit One. And this will be a generalized linear model. But oh, you say, wait, how do I know the syntax for that? Okay. I can do question mark, GLM, 
and get help on it. It says general, fitting generalized linear models and tells you what the um, fields are that go into it. So I have a formula, a family, um, the data, uh, and so forth. Sometimes that's not very helpful, so you can actually go down to the examples and say, well, I want an example of what that looks like. So if we take uh, the first example, it says we're fitting a general linear model where this is our y variable. And I'm not sure what the uh, post weight is here, um, unless this has to do with post office. Uh, so the dependent variable, the little swiggle line is kind of like a um, equal sign. And then plus this variable and this variable and this variable. So go back over here, call this fit one again. Generalized linear model. My dependent variable is going to be victim. Or rose name victim. My little approximately equal sign. And I'm just going to grab some that seem logical to me. Um, age. Plus whether or not they have a computer. Plus number of credit cards they have. Credit card fraud could be um, you be a victim of a lot of cyber crimes, but for credit card fraud is one of those. And maybe one more just for good measure. Um, how about whether they're rural or city? We could actually put more, but this is just to demonstrate. I'm only putting four uh, potential predictive variables in here. We're going to give it where the data came from. The data came from cyber. If you forget to do that, it'll give you an error. Say, well, I can't find this stuff that you told me to find. That's because we did, didn't give it the file name or the data set name. And I'm going to leave the family, in this case, blank. And we're going to press the enter key. And nothing happens because all I did was put that into the um, placeholder there, fit. So I'm going to do summary. Fit one. See what the model looks like. And it gives me everything associated with um, fitting a model, at least summary-wise. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. I'm, what I want to get to is the plot. So I'm going to do plot. Fit one. That's our generalized linear model that we just fit. Enter. Now, what's going to happen here is, is R is going to give me every possible plot associated with doing um, a fit of a generalized linear model. So it's going to ask me to hit return several times. There's one graph. This is the um, most important graph that, that we're going to have in this particular example. It's the normal QQ plot and you can see that it doesn't follow the horizontal line. So I don't really have a linear model here. Kind of see it there too. So I'm going to go back and I say, well, that wasn't a, a generalized linear model. So what else can I do? And we'll, we'll actually learn more about this next time, but since I have a 0, 1, or a yes, no 
variable. I'm going to try a family that's binomial. It takes on two numbers. Do the same thing. Check the summary data. and do the plots. And that fit is not looking wonderful. That's okay because I picked a, uh, um, the data for a model that we haven't dealt with yet just to demonstrate um, how to do the general linear, general generally I can't say a generalized linear model, um, so that rather than do the, your actual problem because there's one your problem is going to ask you to do one that is a generalized linear model, but you'll know kind of the way to approach this now with this example.